So before going to the workshop, so there is few announcements. So if you don't have the DMAT or the trading account, you can use the link given in the chat section. You can open the account. So by this way, it will be helpful for me. I'll get the commission when you open the account in the Alice Blue. Then the second thing, in our company babajirobotrade.com, we are giving robo for intraday trading for Indian market, both for MCX and for NSC. And to trade options, we are giving the special robo called Alice G. So in the Alice G, we can build the all option strategies, straddle, strangle, butterfly and for iron condor. Then the third announcement, we have the YouTube channel, the name of Babaji MT4 system. So you can subscribe and you can follow it. Whenever we are getting a good call in the market, we are posting on daily basis. So you can follow the channel. So first thing, you can open an account in Alice Blue. Second thing, second thing, you can visit our site www.babajirobotrade.com and you can see your products. If it's useful for you, then you can buy the products. Then third thing, you can subscribe to our YouTube channels. In the day, we will be connected. So if you have any queries, you can post it in the YouTube or you can mail us at kumarishan.selva at gmail.com. Hello viewers, welcome to Option Trading Workshop. So today we are going to see, do really the option buying, the call buy or the put buy gives you profit or not. I have already explained the type of option on the previous classes. There are two type of option. First is the put option and the call option. So both we can buy and sell simultaneously. Suppose if you want to buy, you can buy call option or you can sell the put option or you can buy the put option or you can sell the call option. All are possible. So I remind you one more time. So if you are the call buyer or the put seller, you have to take delivery on the expiry date. Only in the stocks I am specifically mentioning. For the bank nifty, nifty, you can carry up to the expiry date and you can square up the positions. So call sell and the put buy. This means you have to give a delivery to the call buyer. Okay. Up to this is clear, right? So next we are going for it. Do option buying is really profitable? Yes, option buying will work. It is more profitable than the selling because of this is having a limited risk. Say for example, if you are buying HDFC bank of 1000 strike price at the rate 10 rupees means. So 10 rupees into 500 lots is that become 5000. So our maximum risk will be 5000 rupees. So when you are buying, say for example, if you are selling that particular option, right? Only you are selling one lot of call option at the rate of 10 minutes. We are collecting only 5000 rupees, but our risk is very high because if the price started moving higher and higher, our risk also will pile up. Okay. So here when you are going for option buying, so reward is unlimited, risk is very limited. Okay. Because if the HDFC moves down, okay, from 1000, because we have brought 1000 strike. So from 1000 rupees, if the HDFC fall to say for example, 100 rupees, our maximum risk will be 10 rupees the premium we have paid. Okay. But when you are going for option buying, you should know at least some technicals and the direction where the stock or the indices is moving. So for our viewers, we are mentioning instead of going for a buying naked call or put, do your back spread. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to do your back spread. In this video, I'm going to cover the complete detail about the back spread and a slightly advanced version of the back spread. Let me start from a naked put. So you have a view in the market bearish view, right? So you can do one thing. You can buy the put option. If the market goes down, you'll be in a profit, right? So it's so simple. So for example, I have a view in the bank nifty that tomorrow the market will go down. So I can buy one lot of bank nifty put option. Seventh May expiry bank nifty. Okay. One lot of put the strike is 21500 at the rate 501. So what will happen in the case you have brought one lot of put at the rate of 501. So that is a premium you have given to the market. So this is a payoff chart. So what the payoff chart is showing means you have brought one lot of put. So here you have brought one lot of put. So you have a view the market will go down. So you have brought the put first strike out of money at the rate of 501. So here is the payoff chart is showing that if the price started moving lower and lower only, your put will be in a profit. Suppose if the market goes high, right? The market reverses and going upside, what will happen? Your premium paid will go to zero. 
so based on this we can come to a result so if you have brought one lot of may expiry as a 21 find at put at the rate of 538 okay you are going to pay a premium of 10765 so the the probability of profit is only 32 percent you may end up in profit remaining 68 percent it may go to zero so maximum profit is undefined maximum loss is only the premium you have paid the break even you can find is 20961 why because the 2150 is our strike so minus this premium will get the break even so 20961 the bounty has to go below this level then only your put will come into the profit because our success ratio is very less so we are employing an option strategy to maximize our profit and to limit the risk here come our strategy that is back spread so in the back spread what we are doing actually we are buying two lot of out of the money call or put and we are selling one lot of in the money call or put we can sell in the money or at the money that will differ from case to case the back spread is much safer than the naked put or call okay when the market started falling below the out of the money our call and put will be in a huge profit but where come the losses suppose if the market stays between this range between the out of the money and the in the money will be in a loss so how to do a back spread so i am showing a live example of bank nifty 7th may expiry so this i have taken directly from the nsc website you can also visit the nsc website and you can check the prices so here we are seeing the 21 finder the trading order 501 this is the first strike out of the money after that we can see there are numerous strikes trading above so here for the back spread what we are going to do we have to sell one lot of at the money or in the money okay and we are going to buy two lot of out of the money this is same as buying a one lot of put but this is a hedged strategy so how would hedged so say for example the 21500 i can go short so i will collect the premium fine at one so with the collected premium i can go long in the 255 that is about 20800 strike so why i have chosen the this two particular strike means first i am just finding which strike having a double premium on outside it means that suppose here i can say this is a 255 so 255 into into 2 thus comes near about 510 here I have two choice either I can choose 530 okay or I can choose 501 actually I have to choose 530 since the open rate is very less I am moving to the I am moving to the 21500 that's trading at 501 so when I am selling this option 501 and I am buying the 255 simultaneously what will happen to our strategy so this is the payoff chart so I have sold one lot of 21500 and I have brought two lot of 20800 if the price not going in my favor also i will be in a profit but this is not the case with the blind put so this is a payout chart for the blind put we have brought a lot of put if it goes higher we will lose all our premium pay here when you do the back spread if the price started moving higher we will be in a small bit of profit only we will lose only in this region there's a red region i have showed only in this region you will lose but even if it is going down below this range, you will be in a huge profit. So this is a result. So we are selling one lot of 21500 put 538 and we are buying two lot of 20800 put at 258. So probability of profit is 64%. In the only naked buying, we seen only 32%. Here the probability has increased to 64%. So maximum profit is undefined because if the market most lower and lower we will win a huge profit so maximum risk is only 13,565 so in the previous case it's only 10,000 here it is 13,500 so break even point is 20,121 on the down scale and the upside 21,479 if the price moves above 21,479 we will collect our credit so this is the credit for doing the strategy so we will win a profit of 415 rupees if it not move in our favor suppose in case if the market is moving higher and is reaching about 22,000 also this all all the strikes will go zero so we will collect the premium of 
over 15. So here the estimated estimated margin is only 20,000. So simply when you're going for a naked buy of 10,500, this is giving much more higher ratio, much more success ratio of 64%. So only on the 20,800 range, it's giving a it's giving a maximum loss of 13,000 rupees. So in the first one, we seen the first one we have seen the blind naked buy. So if the market moves higher, we lose all our premium. Only when the market goes below the strike price minus the premium paid, we'll win a profit. But in the back spread, if it is moving higher also, we'll win a profit. If it moving lower also, we'll win a profit. Only if it stays between the range of 200, 500 to uh, 20,200, we will incur a loss. So here in the back spread, we are incurring the loss only on this region. So we have to avoid this also, right? So I have made a one more strategy that is a back spread plus additional finance. So how to do this strategy? So this is simply a modified of a back spread strategy. Suppose if you are in a bearish view, so we are selling one lot of other money or the in the money or slightly first strike of out of the money. And we are we are buying two lot of out of the money put or call with that we are selling four lot suppose in case you have sold one lot of in the money put so we are selling four lot out of the money call this is a direct opposite if you have brought put this time you are financing with the call suppose if you have done the call back spread you have sold call and brought two lot of call then you have to go straight away opposite you have to sell four lot of put okay this is much more safer than the naked put and the blind back spread when the market stays in a range or in trending also we will win a profit this strategy loss will come when the market trades above the the financed otm call or put suppose you are doing a the put back spread you have sold one lot of put and you have brought two lot of put you are financing with the four lot of call. If the market crosses your this one financed OTM call or put, you will win a loss. So here, if the market moves the financed call option, the four lot of sold call will be a minus. So at the time you have to exit this strategy. So this is the payoff chart. So we can see our payoff chart is very smooth. So from the day you have made this strategy, you are on a profit. So if you are if you are doing the strategy now, currently bandwidth is trading around 21,534. So even now also, if you have done the back spread with this finance, you will be in a profit. We can see there is a huge green range that is extending away. If the market goes below, lower and lower, you will be in a huge profit. Only when it breaks above your this one financed out of the money call option, it will give started giving minus because you have sold four lot of call option. So here we have much reduced our losses. In the previous case we shown, there is one narrow range if the price is trading around 20,800, so we have brought two lot of put. The here, if it stays in the range also for shorter time, if, if it getting expired on the range also, we will be in a slight bit of minus of 3,000 rupees only on expiry date. Else, it will be as like a smooth profit. There is no loss in this strategy unless if it is breaking above the finance OTM call option. So this is the result. So first we are selling the one lot of put that is 21,500 at the rate 538 and we are buying two lot of 20,800 put at 258 and we are selling four lot of 22,500 at the rate 129. So here we can see probability of success is very high that is 79.57 percentage. Maximum profit is undefined, maximum loss is undefined. Break even point is 22,635. When the price cross above this 22,635, you have to exit the position. So net credit, we are receiving 10,800 rupees. Even if the market is not moving anywhere, if it's staying range bound, you will collect this premium. Suppose the currently bandwidth is trading around 21,500. If you're not moving either on top or bottom, if it stays in the same range, you will collect the premium. So estimated margin is 1,79,575. This is about 5% you are collecting from your premium paid. So thank you very much. I think it has helped you a lot for your trading career. Hope you have shared this video to your friends. Let them also understand the strategy and they also make huge profit. If you like this video, you can give a thumbs up to our video. If you are not subscribed, you can subscribe to our video and you can press bell icon to get the immediate notification whenever we are posting a new video. Thank you very much. So if you are the buyer of the option, you should know the strong technical about the market. 
So for that, we are giving the technical tools to our clients. It will indicate you where to take the call and put. Suppose if the chart is indicating up arrow, buy above. So there we have to initiate the call option. If it's showing sell below means we have to initiate the put option. So here for the example, for the HDFC bank, 7th of April, we got a buy call that is buy above 905 and target 925 and 964 and third target 993. So once we get the buy above range 905, we can initiate the buy call, the call buy on the 910 or 900 strike price. So and we can exit our position on 925 or 964 or 993. So if you want to carry for the second or third target and if you have the multiple position, you can square off one by one on first target, second target and the third target.